Hi guys, Javier Antunes here with another Tattoo Theory Tuesdays, where I give you tips and tricks on how to better your craft. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why do your photos suck? Um, if you haven't noticed, there's been kind of a little bit of a trend uh, where it almost looks like everybody has the same photographer for their tattoo pictures. There's a very simple reason for that, uh, and I'm gonna get to that in a second. There's a very important thing when it comes to stuff like this. Um, at the end of the day, what we are doing mostly is trying to properly represent our work. That's the number one thing when it comes to anything we do. So why limit yourself with a bad photo? So basically today I wanna show you guys a, a really neat trick that's called polarizing, um, where basically you utilize a polarized film, a CPL filter, which is one of these little guys where it's basically a circular polarized lens that helps cancel out polarized light. Now, it's a really neat trick that kind of comes with some drawbacks and some kind of like advances to it also, which is also a bit of a drawback when it comes to the tattoo industry. One of the coolest things that this stuff does is that it also heightens the contrast whenever you take photos. Now, you gotta be careful with stuff like that because you end up misrepresenting your work. Whenever you take a picture before, like let's say like when, without the polarized filter, one of the biggest issues I always had is that when you go back home, you know, let's say you're editing the photo like a week or two later, whatever the case may be, just to try to get it to exactly where it actually is, what ends up happening is you don't remember exactly what it looked like per se. So as you're editing, sometimes your hand gets a little heavy, your blacks become too black, your whites become too white. What's really, really nice about all the stuff I have in front of me is, is that with the polarized effect, how it kind of makes everything a lot more contrasty, a lot more saturated, is now you have your too much. So basically from there, you kind of knock back the contrast and now you have exactly where the where the tattoo is without having to do any kind of like any extra tricks or anything like that. Literally one little thing and you're done. Put your little watermark on it, whatever you want to do to it, whatever makes you happy. So the way the science behind this kind of works, it's actually really, really cool. All light for the most part has some polarized in it. Um, it all basically comes from surfaces that are reflecting backlight. Usually the light that's being reflected is then polarized. And that's why you have a kind of like ambient lighting that becomes polarized. That's why sometimes like if you're outdoors, you don't really need uh, so much of the light per se, but obviously indoors, that's not always the case. You kind of need a little bit more lighting. So what you do is by putting a polarized film like this guy onto a light, what's happening is all the light that is, being, is coming through the polarized film is now being 100% polarized. So basically what that means is, is that in tandem with the circular polarized lens, it's able to then cancel out the high point, let's say, kind of basically where the glare is. So if we look kind of like in the camera, as I get parallel to the wavelength of that light, it basically then cancels out all the glare and you get the exact tattoo. Just remember to always kind of like go into your contrast setting and then kind of like just knock it back either in post or directly in from your camera. Now, the only other thing you gotta kind of be aware of is that obviously all surrounding light, like basically what's here, doesn't have a film over it. So what's happening is the light that's coming out of your camera or out of the light that's attached to your camera, whether it be the smaller one for your phone, whether it be the larger one for your, for your bigger camera, all that light is being 100% polarized as it's coming out, but not the ambient light around you. So you might notice as you're kind of messing around with the circular polarized lens that some light's being canceled out, like some of the glare is being canceled out, but not everything around it. So usually the best setting is to have a much darker kind of room where the ambient light is almost like kind of like a, like a like one candle somewhere off in the distance, so to speak, where there's just a little bit of fill light, not a crazy, crazy amount. Because when it's a crazy amount, kind of like what we have right now, the filter doesn't know what that is. It doesn't know how to cancel it out because it's not polarized. The film that's over your light is producing 100% polari uh, polarized uh, light. So what's happening is it will cut that out. So you're kind of good there. So it's always, it's always really good to make sure that you have a light that generates a decent amount of power. Uh, you can definitely kind of have a more smaller one that you can attach to your phone. That works perfectly fine. Uh, the only downside is, is that the film does make your light a little bit dimmer. Uh, it will kind of cut down between 20 to 50%, sometimes a little bit more, depending on which film you get. So you want to be careful as far as that's concerned. So you might want to consider uh, chucking up a little bit extra cash and going for a much stronger light. Uh, the stronger the light is, the less you have to worry about so much ambient light around you because you'll be able to kind of like focus in the ISO and the aperture and all that, you know, all that hardcore camera mumbo jumbo. So usually kind of works out pretty good. So that's pretty much it as far as the polarizing trick. I do have to give a special shout out to one of my good buddies that, kind of, that taught me this trick. Uh, he made sure that kind of like helping me through the whole process of it. His name is Evan Owen. He's fantastic. He's amazing. He really helped me out to kind of 
really figure this out in a, in a proper way without abusing it. Because at the end of the day, this can be very abused very easily. There's a big misconception. Everybody thinks things are Photoshopped and stuff like that, and that's not it. It's this trick. But again, like I said, some you gotta make sure that you don't overdo it with this trick. This trick can be kind of like the dark side of the force. I mean, they're offering you good cookies. Don't take it. Avoid the cookies. Use the power, but don't eat the cookies. Usually you should be good. So until next time.